hey guys, let's learn about how uh, things work super, super briefly and about our assignment this week and next week. So um, this is important to know. Illinois has 118 districts or sections, so 118 little sections. The whole state's carved up into 118 little pieces. And each district or section, they get to vote for a representative or vote for a person in our Illinois Congress. So there's 118 sections and each section gets a person. And that person uh, gets a job in the Illinois Congress and they help make decisions. This is very, very similar to how the United States Congress works. In the United States, each state gets two representatives. Now there's 50 states, you know, things like Illinois, Florida, New York, they each get two representatives and there's 100 representatives. So it's like that, except that Illinois is broken up into like many, many states, just that one, our one state, if that helps it make more sense. <laughs> All right. So it is also important to know because Chicago has more people, there's a higher concentration, a lot more people live in the city, there's a lot more representatives in just this little area. So there's one representative for every 100,000 people or so. All right. So for every about 100,000 people, they make a little section and then that section gets to vote on a person or representative. So we got 118 little sections. Again, each section gets to vote for a person, and that person gets a, a seat in the House of Representatives for Illinois. So there's 118 there. That's all of them in our Illinois, um, and they make help make decisions. Now, Illinois does have a Senate. They have another group that helps vote, but that gets confusing. And the House of Representatives in Illinois, they make a lot of the decisions, so we're just going to focus on them. All right, right now, in the House of Representatives, there's House Bill 116. This is going in the House right now as we speak. It is for, as you can see it magnified, rent control. What it would do is it would lift the ban on rent control. If you didn't watch that other video, you definitely uh, need to, because that explains the history of the ban on rent control, so it makes a little bit more sense, because it's really confusing, and a lot of adults are even confused about it. But it would lift the ban so that if a city or town in Illinois wanted rent control, they could get it. So it is important to know that your representative for your little district, the way they get paid is by people voting for them. If they're voted in, then they get the job. So it's really important that you tell them how you feel. Because if your section or your neighborhood gets really mad at them and they start going against them, they're not going to have their job in the future. They get voted every two years. So it's a really short term job. So it's important you let them know how you feel. So there's a way to do that. If you go to this Illinois website, you could find your alderman. Maybe there's a city issue, right? So this kind of works the same way in the city. The city's broken into neighborhoods. Or you can find your house for the, the Senate and you can find who your representative is there. I never remember. I can never remember. So I use this all the time when I want to find out who is my representative again? What do I need to tell them? I use this all the time. Most people don't remember they use this website. So you click on it and you put in your address and it'll tell you, hey, this is your person uh, that represents your section, right? Your representative. So you're going to do that for this assignment. You're going to find out who your person is, your representative. Now, if you don't know, if your address is uncertain, right now, you know, that's why rent control is an issue. A lot of people are forced to move. Rent's too high. You know, or maybe we're just moving in general. So if you're not sure of your address, you can just use Golders, which is there for you. And find out who the representative for the neighborhood of Golder is. All right. Again, we're going to be talking about this house bill that's going in the house right now. So your last assignment is an argumentative paragraph or letter saying, Hey, representative, whoever represents you, I support rent control or I do not support rent control. You're going to write them a letter. Now, you don't have to really send it to them. It's just to me. You can send it to them if you want to. I highly encourage that. I send them letters and call them all the time, but you don't have to. This is just for me, just so you know. So just going over this week, we're going to actually just prepare or outline for the letter. 
In the past, you've written in a week, but it's the end of the year. We're going a little bit slower. So this week, you're just going to prepare. All right. What maybe what would be an image I would want to give them of why I support this or don't? What quote might I use to say why rent control is a good idea or a bad idea? You're just going to prepare. All right. Little bullet points this week. Next week, you're going to write the full letter and it's just a paragraph. So, um, so super short, not too bad. I really want to emphasize that this is 50 points and it can replace a previous argumentative assignment. So this can bu bump up your grade a ton. And of course, if you don't do it, it's not, it's going to hurt your grade. So you really want to make sure you get this done. It's our very, very last assignment, last assignment before our final exam. Again, if you have an A, you are exempt. If you don't, I didn't tell you that, now you know. So your last assignment's gonna look like this. Again, this week we're just gonna prepare bullet points and next week you're gonna write it where you put your state representative's name, dear representative, you know, Teresa Ma or whoever it is. I do not support rent control for Illinois and then explain why. Or dear representative, whoever represents your neighborhood or Golders if you choose. I do support rent control, right? And then you're going to, the rest of your paragraph, you're going to type out. You're going to use creative language, imagery, metaphors, repetition. You really want to grab your representative's attention. You want them to remember your language. You want them to remember you. You're an influencer here. Um, you're going to also need to use a quote from one of the articles that support your argument. And I really want to emphasize this is your last assignment before finals. And again, if you have an A, then you don't need to take the final exam if you don't want to. Also, if you want to get that paragraph done early, you've done it in the past. You've written a full argumentative paragraph in one week. If you want to do that this week, this could be you all next week, just chilling. So that is uh, a heads up on what we're doing this week. I am. You guys are so good at creativity and metaphors and imagery. So I'm really pumped to read uh, what you write and prepare. And uh, yeah, that's all I got. Let me know if you ever have any questions. Office hours on Wednesday from 9 a.m. from 10, 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. And again, from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. I would love to work with you, help you through this and make sure we end this year super, super strong. You guys all got this.